Hello boys and girls. Welcome to our art and craft activity today. It's nice to know that you're watching and ready to learn, to learn a new thing. Today we're going to make, you're going to do weaving. We are going to do weaving. What are we going to need? We are going to need papers, okay? You need your ruler, you need scissors, and you need print glue or cello tape or even a masking tape, all right? Good, this is how we're going to do. We are first of all going to draw lines using your ruler, all right? Just draw lines like this, like that. Draw lines. I'm just going to do like that. Let me show what I've already done. I've already drawn lines here, right? So you're going to fold it into two, like that. Fold it into two. All right. Then you're going to just a minute. You're going to fold it into two like that, and then you're going to cut. You're going to cut following the lines that we had already drawn, but not to the end. Be very careful not to cut to the end. There's a small space here. I'm cutting. We're not cutting to the end. Otherwise, you're going to separate it completely. So we are going to cut like that. Not to the end. Make sure you don't reach the end. I hope you can see. You're quietly observing what I'm doing so that you can be able to do it on your own. So this is where we're going to weave and there we are. I have not cut them completely. They are like that. So we're going to put them down like this but for this one we are going to cut them completely. So this one we're going to cut to the end like that. So that you have strips of paper that you're going to use for weaving. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it, all right? All right, so my strips are ready, okay? And this is how I'm going to pass them there. There is a way you have to go under, then you go over, all right? You go under, then come over like that. So we're going to do, you go under, then you bring it over like that. You go under, bring it over. Go under, bring it over, go under, over, under, and over, like that. Then you push it in to the end, like that. All right, since we started here, it's over. The other one is going to start the other way around, okay? We go down, up, over, then go under, over, under, over, keep pushing them like that, arranging them nicely, under, over, go under and over, go under and over. Keep arranging them nicely, pushing them inside so that they are all together well aligned. Then the other one, you start like the very first one, okay? You go under, bring it over, under and over. You go under and over, under and over, under and over. Like that, keep pushing them inside. The other one start now like the second one, like that. Over, under, go under, over. Under and over, under and over, bring it over, pull it up like that, push them like that. Like 
Knit it. Good. See the pattern that is bringing? Beautiful. So the next one again, keep looking here. You see it has to alternate. Yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow. Here is yellow, pink, yellow, pink, yellow. So pink should be here, all right? So we are going to go under and over. Yarn over and over and and over and and over and and, and over like that. Okay. So it is the same. Keep looking at the colors here. The next color, this one should go under so that it's not seen. All right, you can check here it's yellow pink yellow pink yellow pink keep checking so that you're doing the right thing and come up with a beautiful pattern here we are Can even push it from here because already the space is very little then the last one here now should start from under let me take a different one now you have to be very careful the space is very small so you kind of have to push it with your fingers so that it passes under and over you push it under and over like that under and over push it like that and the space is little here we can add a little space here There. Nice. Very nice. Okay. And there we are done. But to make sure that your strips that we have passed over and under, over and under, don't come out, you need to stick. Make sure you put glue or you put like that stick them like that so that they don't come out all right you put glue on it like that and let it stay stick it stick it like that so that it doesn't come out if you don't have glue you can as well use cello tape or a masking tape let me use on the other side you can actually use that on this other side so that there's they stick onto your weave or the loom so that way they cannot come out and make sure make sure you try and align them cut the sticking edges because you'll have some sticking edges that will be sticking out like that just cut them like that like that like that and then you have some very neat work and there we have our weaving beautiful make yours as beautiful as possible thank you